China will test the DF-17 medium-range hypersonic ballistic missile in a large-scale military exercise near Taiwan dubbed Operation Reunification. The ongoing military exercises are linked in response to U.S. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi's visit to Taiwan. Chinese state media outlets reported on Wednesday that the J-20 Mighty Dragon stealth fighter jet was also taking part in the exercise. The Global Times wrote that the DF-17 missile was the first time it had been deployed in the exercise and would fly over Taiwan for the first time. People's Liberation Army troops are also expected to enter the area within 12 nautical miles and surround the area, military experts said. China's Armed Forces Eastern Theater Command said on Wednesday that the troops involved in the exercise had carried out realistic drills in the north, southwest and southeast of Taiwan. The drills are expected to last until noon Sunday, Xinhua said. It added that live-fire drills were carried out in six major maritime areas and airspace around Taiwan. DF-17 is an abbreviation of Dongfeng which means east wind. The missile uses a hypersonic launcher as its warhead and flies up to five times the speed of sound with a trajectory it cannot. The DF-17 is China's first operational hypersonic medium-range missile system. The 2020 Bulletin of the Atomic Scientists report on Chinese nuclear forces estimates the maximum range of the DF-17 to be more than 1,800 kilometers. The DF-17 will play a vital role in safeguarding China's territorial integrity, as regions including the South China Sea, the Taiwan Straits and Northeast Asia are all within its striking range, Yang Qingjun, a Chinese missile expert, told the Global Times when the missile made its debut in 2019. In addition to stationary targets, the DF-17 can likely also hit slowly moving targets, Song said, referring to aircraft carriers.